Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. I forgot to record uh, my intro downstairs where everything is all set up and I don't feel like doing it. I'm currently sitting here editing my video. So today I'm reviewing the Emacs Cinehawk Bind and Fly DJI 03 drone. I wanna show you an unboxing of it then I'm gonna head out to a local park. Me and my buddy are gonna give it some test flights and let you know just how it handles. And then I'm gonna record some clips and put together a cinematic reel to see just how you can use this thing to be cinematic. So welcome to today's video. All right, let's get to the unboxing. So I actually, uh, I lost the box. I don't know where the, where the fuck it is. I have everything that came in it, but I don't have the box for some reason. And I still wanted to do like an unboxing experience. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna unbox it um, from this Pet Smart bag. Inside the bag, you have some more of these little, uh, whatever these things are, the little, God damn it. And they also give you some extra propelling propellers. So this is the thing. This, here it is. The Emacs Cinehawk. DJI 03 Bind and Fly Cinewoop from Emacs. Did I say that part? Now some of you may be noticing the uh, the antenna's broken. Well, that's because I filmed the flight portion of this video before I filmed the unboxing, because I don't know. Here we go, it's an XT30. It has, uh, oh, fuck, actually I don't know what's in it because I lost the paper. All right, it looks like the motors are Eco 2 Series, uh, made in China, 2004. Is that <laughs> And it looks like the flight controller is a fucking Emacs Baby Hawk 2 HD board. All right, sick. And then it has a DJI fucking 03 thing. And then it has these Emacs propellers. This one came, uh, I didn't know DJI has radio in the 03. I don't know shit about DJI, but apparently you can use a radio with DJI 03 instead of like ELRS, but that's fucking stupid. So I put an ELRS in this. Um, it has this like kind of big cavity right here. Big old fucking space between the little tiny flight controller ESC combo and this little thing for it to like, you know, so you don't land on your props. And as you can see, I just put some double-sided sticky tape on an ELRS receiver, jam that on in there. The antenna is kind of just like whatever. So boom, there we go. That is the Cinehawk from Emacs. Isn't that a thing? They do recommend using a 4S850 and I have a couple of those. So that's pretty convenient. You got your little, let's, let's re-put the battery. Lord have mercy, here we are in the park, and what a beautiful day it is. The sun is out, it's blue skies. This is basically perfect conditions for trying out this little Cinemoop. I was worried it's gonna be all gray and shitty, and you wouldn't be able to see like the camera quality or whatever, but this is cool. God has blessed us today with this beautiful blue skies. So here we go, I got the little whoop out here. Now, this is DJI, right? And as you know, or may not know, I fucking hate DJI. I do not like DJI at all. I hate them as a company. The video system, let's get, let's get this clear real quick. The video system is probably fantastic, I'm sure. I've tried DJI before. Yeah, it is a really clear picture. It's whatever. I don't like variable latency, blah, blah. I despise DJI as a company. I have my reasons. I have several reasons why I don't like them, why I don't want to support them, give them any money. So you may be asking yourself, Bach Grinder, why the fuck are you reviewing this thing then? Well, my initial idea was I would get this, I would do the review, I'd take the O3 out and put in my own VTX and just have another Cinewoop. But that was before I realized this thing is kind of built around the DJI O3. So I don't, I'm not going to do that anymore. Whoops. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to get the homie grand up. I'm going to be like, can you? You use your DJI goggles and bind this and shit. And then I find out you have to download a fucking DJI program onto your computer. You have to register the VTX with your information. I know you can use false information. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. But you have to download a program, put in all your information to activate the VTX. I don't want to do that. I do not trust DJI. I don't want to download a goddamn program on my computer. A lot of y'all motherfuckers bitching about Chinese spy balloons, yet you're downloading a program made by the CCP on that's for another day. So anyway, I was like, Grand, do you mind a little spyware? Will you please download the program and do this for me? And he said, sure. So Grand took one for the homies and he downloaded a spy program on his computer so he could activate this thing how did activation go like legit did you have any issues with it so i i did have a few issues first of all because had i only root the goggles had first because i wanted to like, have and i could like, uh, take my goggles that out because if i, if I, if I, I don't switch back before. so i had to do that first I, I just wanted to get that out of the way just in case i wanted to do that jesus well thank you grant i appreciate you going through all that trouble to get at work man thank you very much Oh yeah, no problem. All right, sick. Hey, so what Graham doesn't know is after this review for helping me out, I'm just gonna give him the entire Cinewoop with the DJI 03 and shit. Wait, aren't I a nice guy? I'm such a nice guy. All right, cool. So thank you again very much, Grand, for uh, taking the hit on that one, getting everything working. I didn't want to fuss with it. I, I don't have DJI goggles. I don't want to mess with trying to bind anything. So I was like, here you go, bud. You mind doing this? And he did, so thank you. So let's see how this son of a bitch flies. I bound it to my radio. Actually, did I talk about that? I probably already talked about it. Yeah, I talked about it. So as you saw previously, I bound this to my ELRS radio already, my Tango 2 with 
with the module. We're in this beautiful park. I'm gonna give it a flight. I'm gonna let you know what I think of the drone, how it flies and everything. I'm gonna have Grand do a flight because he does a lot more gig and cinematic stuff than I do. So he's more of a Cinewhoop guy. And then we're gonna do a flight and I'll show you how you can like color grade and I guess make this fucking DJI VTX footage look or something. I don't know. I don't like DJI. Did I say that yet? All right, I'm about to do my flight. The settings on the camera, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of different settings you can do for the O3. I don't know, nor do I fucking care. So Grand just set it up stock. Like if you were to just set up your camera and bind it, this is how it's going to look. So this is how it's going to look. If you want a four hour explanation of DJI th O3 settings, I guess just go to Joshua Bardwell's channel or something. This ain't the one, homie. All right, flight number one. Look at this, look, I have DJI goggles on. Isn't that weird? I bet you haven't seen that. All right, here we go. Air unit, low power state. I don't know what that means. Okay, then it goes away. Oh, right away, this is a little shaky. Oh, do you see that? You can probably see this in the DVR. That's not very Cine Whoopy. Is my shit set up wrong? Uh, okay, well, so the DJI video is like crystal clear. Oh shit, it fucking fell out of the sky. I think that may have been like just a receiver fault. I'm not gonna put that on the quad. But let's see. It's shaky, it's shaky. I don't know if you can see it in the DVR, but that is a shaky little drone right there. I know like old school cinema whoops were real shaky, but I thought we had progressed beyond that. Ah, uh, I, I don't know. Let's see, can I even get, look at these ducks. I don't wanna like scare them while this person's feeding them. Yeah, I'll just go over here. But, oh, this, um, I don't know if mine's set up wrong, man, but this is not the best flying little drone. Let's see if we can get like smooth and low at least. That's oh, kind of hard. Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, this has got to be set up wrong. If this is the way that they're supposed to fly, man, somebody's got to tell Emacs that we've progressed beyond uh, shaky center whoops. Like, these shits fly smooth now. It might even been like uh, uh. That's, uh, I hate that. Look at that, that punch. That's an ugly punch. Maybe what? I was saying maybe the way I, like, um, updated it. Like as well may have been like those three. I, no, those three wouldn't have anything to do with the way this drone flies. That's like, ugh, I don't know if it's supposed to be tuned or something. I mean, this is stock. This is how I don't know if it's stock beta fly. This is stock how the drone came. I just I see it shaking a bit. I don't I don't care for that. Let's see how precision I can get with the shake. All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about this, to be honest with you. Oh, maybe the motors just need to be broken in. It feels better. No. Look here. I'm going to punch up and look. See how it shakes? You can hear it in the camera, too, I'm sure. I don't like that. I don't like that. I guess maybe with a tune it would fly better. I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna finish this one up. I'm going to hand it off the Grand. This O3, though, I guess if we're going to comment on that, yeah. Uh, pretty cool video. I despise 69 for freestyle for cruising around. It's all right But like I find myself looking around the screen too much and it's very distracting. I don't care for that uh, I don't care for the shakiness of this either man Look at that guy. Look at that guy. All right, yeah, let's bring it over here. We'll see what Grant thinks of it Oh, yeah, that is really shaky. You can, you can feel like it right away, right? Yeah Stuff I could definitely notice the shake that you're talking about. Do you feel it when you punch out? Do you feel the, <clears throat> the kind of wobble? Yeah, I can see it in the... Yeah. Try to like pretend you're just doing a smooth line like by the trash cans. Try to get like low and smooth and see if the wobble affects you at all. That doesn't look too bad. It doesn't sound too bad from here. I mean, I can definitely, there's, there's still that shake in the camera. So now you've flown it for a minute, what do you think? Would other than, be... I mean, it feels fine other than the shake. And that could probably be tuned out. Yeah. You don't have a problem I mean, going around trees or anything? I mean, a little tiny range test one back here. Bro, that's got to fail safe because I fail safe facing it. You're facing away from it. I, I have no problems what right now. What the fuck is going on? Is it fun? Is it fun to fly at least? Oh yeah. I mean, I probably got to just tweak the, like, the unit settings a little bit but yeah it's it's fun yeah i'm sure you could uh probably reduce some filters to get rid of that shakiness a little like protective casing thing on here that goes on the antenna just popped off so this is what the inside of a 
03 antenna looks like. It's just some paper with some metal on it or some shit. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so that's how it flies, right? That's how this little guy flies. But this is a Cinewoop, and they're intending you to use this for getting cinematic footage of stuff. So we got to test that out. We got to get some... Well, I said that weird. So we're going to test that out. We got to get some cinematic footage. I have this electrical skateboard that I'm actually trying to sell to Grand. And I was like, you know what we can do? We'll just take turns skateboarding around, and we'll film each other. And then I'll go home, and I'll edit this off the 03 air unit, and I'll try to make some cinematic footage out of it. So you can see how... I don't know, I guess the O3 air unit looks when you try to fucking do things to it. God, it's too rough. This is like the earliest I've ever filmed a video. All right, so we're gonna chase each other around on the skateboard and I'm gonna go home and then um, I'll show you what this looks like when I try to make a little edit out of it. I don't know if you can use real steady on this or not. I don't know, like I said, anything about DJI, nor do I really give a fuck. Oh wait, Grand does though. <laughs> All right, that was the end. All right, that's the video. So if you were to be like Bach Grand or you did a review, like I, you didn't give us any information. How much is it? Should I, I don't know how much it is, dude. I lost the paper. Okay, but like would I fly this? I don't know, man. Let me let me show you what I got. Hang on. This is a Dronco Snapshot. This is my little two and a half Cine Whoop that I like to use. I just put my Insta360 Go on it like for funsies. And this is a Dronco Production Center. This is a bigger one that I have a GoPro Bones on that takes bigger 6S batteries and shit. Then I have my Naked Flywoo 9 on my Cinebot. This is a little bind and fly that they sent me. These are all analog. None of these are digital. So would I pick this up if I flew DJI 03? I don't know. Honestly, it depends on the price. I kind of wish I would have figured that. I could have emailed them and asked, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to put a link in the description to it. I'm not going to put my Emacs affiliate link. I'm just going to put a regular one. So if you do want to pick this up, go to somebody else's video that has an affiliate link so they get the bucks but i think i think uh I'm, pot grinder is gonna pass on this one which honestly here here's a fucking real deal i hate to fucking say because like the last thing emacs sent me was that little like bind and fly kit that i thought was pretty cool i just didn't like the goggles like at all and they sent me this and i'm like oh, i don't really like this and emacs makes fantastic stuff you know what i mean like a lot of it is not for me but it may be for you so go watch some other reviews for sure and see if maybe you do like this you know what i mean it comes with a dji it's bind and fly maybe that's what you want i don't fucking know i'm not you i'm me thank God. But shout out Emacs, they do make quality stuff. So at least if you buy this from Emacs, you know that you are getting a product that does have R&D in it from a company that's been around for a while and does have a pretty good reputation in the FPV community for a long time. There's a lot of new companies making shit and it's all fucking garbage, but Emacs has been around for a while. The red bottoms were like the greatest motors ever made in FPV. Speaking of the greatest thing in FPV, I have a Patreon and these are some of the greatest patrons that I've had all month. Big shout out to Billy Hackett, Boris the German, Fred805, J-Rod FPV, Marcella FPV, Maddie BFPV, Netcat FPV, Patty Cakes, Stompy FPV, Tactical Drones, Trent, TT FPV, Twan Solo, Volleytronics, Wom FPV, and HempandFriends.com. Big old shout out to all you mofos. I really do appreciate your support very much. If you're like Dan Bot Grinder, I appreciate your super honest reviews and not just trying to make affiliate link money off my ass and shit. Check out Bot Grinder or check out patreon.com forward slash Bot Grinder. Literally 90% of my income. That's how I make my money. I don't monetize my videos because I say fuck and I play good music and I don't want to be beholden to Google's ad revenue freaking bullshit or or affiliate links for products that I don't really care for. So Patreon is my main fucking thing. That's all I'm going to say about that. Thank you very, very much, everybody, for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. I have a brand new video dropping this Saturday. Me and the homies just hanging out, flying some hardcore fucking freestyle and shit. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I am incredibly close to my childhood goal of 35,000 subscribers. And if you could just be a deer, pop that little, press that little button if you enjoyed this so I can get to 35, that'd be cool. I'll send you like 20 bucks in the mail. Just email me to my non-existent email address. I'm Ramblin'. I promise next time we'll be better. Play the fucking song. I don't know. I don't like DJI. Did I say that yet?